but the interesting point is that John Dramani Mahama, former president of Ghana and the most likely candidate for the National Democratic Congress, has written his alternative, a solution to the e-levy situation. Let's look at it right now. Uh, president Mahama writes as follows. How come we, how come we do not have a much-needed post-COVID-19 economic recovery plan that will lay down a firm blueprint for fiscal consolidation in the face of a worsening economic situation? Now, there's an admission here. And we're doing content analysis, so it's important to point out. There's an admission here. President Mahama is making the admission that COVID-19 had something to do with the Western economic situation. Quite clearly, he's making that admission. That's very important for how we're going to draw our conclusions. Because here in this paragraph, the former president is admitting to something. He says, how come we do not have a much needed, that's what he calls it, is desperately needed post-COVID-19 economic recovery. So he's admitted that COVID-19 has something to do with an economic downturn. 10. That's very important. The former president has admitted that COVID-19 has something to do with economic downturn. And so he's asking the government, where is your recovery plan for COVID-19? Where is your economic recovery plan? Because however you look at it, COVID-19 has affected the economy of the country. I can call it a force majeure, but it wasn't created by the government or the opposition. It was just created by a pandemic. So President Mahama is admitting that there is a, an economic situation with COVID-19. Let's move on. He says, as I have indicated previously, the government must, as a matter of urgency, borrow a leaf from our sound approach towards the challenges we faced in 2015. We immediately convened the Sinchi Economic Forum at which we tap the brains and expertise of a wide variety of knowledgeable people and stakeholders and built a consensus on our economic plan going forward. Okay, he says, the knowledge shared at Sinchi crystallized into our homegrown fiscal consolidation program, which we eventually presented to the IMF for support. The IMF agreed entirely with our homegrown strategy, whose implementation restored stability to the economy and laid the strong foundations that this government, just as the World Bank in 2016 forecasted, profited from between 2017 and 2020. Okay, this is the meat of the matter. Let's deal with it step by step. Five minutes will be done. Okay, he says that as he has indicated before, the government must, as a matter of urgency, borrow a leave. That means uh, use the example of a sound approach towards the challenge. He said they immediately convened the Sinti Forum at which they tapped their brains, okay, and expertise of wide variety of knowledgeable people and stakeholders and built a consensus on the economic plan going forward. Okay, he says the knowledge shared there, therein crystallized into the homegrown uh, 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 consolidation which the IMF supported. Okay, two issues, two small matters. President Mahama is saying that in 2015, they, um, in 2015, they, got the, uh, they were in trouble. Okay, and when they were in trouble as a government, they opened up and did the Sinti conference and other people came. They borrowed ideas from everyone. It's those ideas that got them to put together a document that they took to the IMF. So he thinks the government should do the same thing. Fair enough, that's a solution. But it's also a solution that we like. It cannot be a solution for an African country that every time we have a problem, we are thinking of development partners. That's, the, that's, that's what we need to change in this country. That's what the young people need to change. We have so many brilliant young people here. We are running $99 billion on our mobile money in a year. We don't find an economic problem and say that let us go to IMF. Why? Where is that coming from? What, is that Kwame Nkrumah's Ghana? That the black man is capable of managing his own affairs. Have we forgotten that? Nkrumah said the black man is capable. He said let us do the independence. And let us show the world that after all, the black man is capable of managing his own affairs. 50, 65 years later, the black man has a problem. He says, let's go to the IMF. Why? Why can't we find, have a problem, economic problem, and make a determination that this economic problem, we can do this. We can pull from mining resources. We can look at our fisheries industry better. We can look at our road construction better. We can look at our toll roads. Look at this, look at that, look at this, and pull resources together and solve our own problem. When America has a problem, they don't think of IMF. No, no, no. It doesn't even arise. When Belgium have a problem, they don't think of IMF. We are worried that President Mahama is urging the government that get some information and let's go to the IMF. But, but that solution clearly didn't work. 
That's one. Number two, the, the problems he talks about that the NDC encountered in 2015. He says, uh, borrow a leap from our sound approach towards the challenges we faced in 2015. But the challenges that the NDC faced in 2015, where did they come from? The NDC had inherited itself. The NDC had been in power since 2009. 2009 January, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. In the seventh year of the NDC's administration, they went into trouble. Who created the trouble? They created it themselves. It can only be them. Unless they say that the economy they inherited in 2009 was so bad. They haven't said that. They cannot say that because that is not the fact. So they inherited a good economy, ran it for seven years, ran it aground, had a, a hole, and went to the IMF. You can't compare that to what you yourself you're admitting as a COVID problem. You were there in 2015. You inherited yourself in 20. So if you created a problem for yourself in 2015, you must have created it based on bad policy analysis. If you didn't do bad policy analysis, why did you inherit a good economy in 2009? Seven years later, you had a problem in 2015. You go to St. Chi, you bring people together. They say, let's go to IMF. We pack our bag, climb a plane, go to Washington. IMF, we beg. We have homegrown policy. Bless it for us. That is not the Ghana we want. No, that is not the Ghana we want. We want a Ghana where when the problems occur, people sit around the table and think through it as the final solution. We, ourselves, are the final solution to our problem. Our solution is not somebody sitting in Washington called IMF. Our solution is not somebody sitting in Geneva called European Union. We must get that thinking out of our head. Our solution is our business community. Our solution is our millionaires. Our solution is our football. Our solution is our talent. That's our solution. That's what God has given us. And God has given us more than he gave to a lot of people. Our solution is the, the resources under the earth. Our solution is the resources under the sea. That's our solution. Our leaders should not see our solution as taking a paper and climbing a plane and going to Washington, D.C. and go and give it to some Obroni and say, here is our problem. Our GDP, debt to GDP ratio is now 85%. Because of COVID, we are suffering. Uh, Obroni, can you help us do something? No. That's what President Mahama is saying. Put it together, go to IMF. Where is that coming from? All those who are saying that must stop. In fact, they must stop. All those who are saying, hey, tell the MPP to go to IMF. No. President Mahama set up a committee during COVID, didn't he? He set up an NDC committee during COVID. So he should set up an economic team and come to do a broadcast to the nation and say, this is my solution to the problems we are having. We don't need E-Levy. We can get it from here. We can do that. We can do that. This is my solution. As we said the other day, show us what it would have been if you were the president. Then we can understand what we are missing. And then when the polls come in 2024, we'll go for what we are missing. Because in spite of everything President Mahama has written in the document, and 2015, and they went to IMF and put the economy on a sound footing. It was on the economy that he was voted out so massively in the biggest electoral defeat in the history of the Fourth Republic. So quite clearly, the outcomes do not bear out President Mahama's analysis. The outcomes do not bear it out. This homegrown solution of 2015 is what came to the 2016 elections and was whitewashed clean by the Ghanaian people. It was a big no, a plaster no on the face of the NDC and the leader, President Mahama, that we don't want this. So why are you asking us to do the same thing that you did and Ghanaians rejected it? Even in the situation where President Mahama was, when he didn't have COVID, he brought the whole upon himself. 2015's economic situation was not brought on by any pandemic. No, it wasn't a pandemic. Well, you can talk of high petroleum price. That happens every time. It's happening today. There's high petroleum prices. Petrol is going up because we have deregulated the industry. There's high petroleum prices. It's going up. So that's not the reason why you create a hole in 2015. The hole on, in 2015 was self-inflicted by the NDC's poor analysis of economic policy. That's what happened. The hole in 2021 or 2022 has been occasioned by a global pandemic. He admits that in his statement. Everybody knows that. So our simple take on the matter, therefore, is that this IMF as a solution, we should stop. At least let the older people do it. Younger people, stop. Let's think. Let's see what we can do. What are we doing with football? 
Why do we have so much talent and we don't make money from football? What are we doing with the sea? Why do we have the best tuna in, in the world, in our sea, and we are not making money from it? What are we doing with our gold? Why is it that we in South Africa contribute 70% of global gold deposits and we are not making money from it? What is the legal regime governing it? What is parliament doing about it? What are we doing with our water? Why is it that we have 45% of water that goes waste that we can export to neighboring countries and make money from it? That's why we build a country. Let's plug the loopholes within. Let's see ourselves as the solution. Not Obroni to sit in plane and go to Washington and go and give him some paper. That we've sat at Senchi. We've come together. We have homegrown. Obroni, please endorse it for us. Let's stop that. God does not even bless that. Because it means that you are shredding the responsibility that God gave you as a human being. You want to rely on another human being. But God gave you the same talent. And he gave, the Bible says that time and chance happen to all. So that's even evil. Let's not do that again. Let this IMF solution, let it end. Let's cut it out from our head. Let's not hear, when we talk about e-levy, let nobody come and tell us that go to IMF. Say that government doesn't need e-levy. Look at what is happening in mining. Calculate mining expenditure or mining taxes from 1920 and show us how it could be better. That's what the position does. That if you were to amend this law and amend that law, you get a windfall of one billion from your mining. The gold is under your earth. You have partners who are mining it, but you can get more from it. That's what you should come and tell us. Not to tell us that, let's go to IMF. Where is that coming from? That sounds so... <laughs> okay. I'll leave it there. <laughs> I'll leave it there. Don't worry. Is there anything else President Mahama said? Uh, that I, Okay, so he says something. He says, but for the profligacy and also the reckless election-related expenditure in 2020, which undermined all the progress that had been made, our economy would not have taken the catastrophic nosedive it has taken and left us reeling under hardship. I didn't mean to say something else. In 2017, the MPP inherited the economy. In 2018, the economy showed positive growth. In 2019, it showed positive growth. In 2020, it showed positive growth. And then COVID came in. So the economy was on a positive, it was growing. If you look at the data from 2016, 17, 18, 19, you will see an economic growth. Now, the growth in 2018 and 17 was occasioned by some thinking. Why am I saying that? Because the economy of 2017 did not pay nurses and, and, uh, and teachers allowance. They didn't pay that. The economy of 2017 did not pay free SHS. They didn't pay that. The economy of 2018, well, the John Mahama economy did not pay nurses and teachers. They didn't. It didn't also pay free SHS. Then John Mahama left. Another people, a set of people came in. They added more expenditure to the economy and still saw growth. That means somebody was thinking. What else could it mean? It could only mean that somebody was thinking. So somebody picks up the economy from you. He asks the expenditure that you have canceled to go into people's pockets, nurses allowance, teachers allowance, and free SHS, and the economy is still growing. That means something. That means the person was doing some thinking. Cocoa uh, uh, revenues went up because cocoa production went up. You can attribute that to President Mohammed's people because cocoa takes a four-year gestation period. But putting all that together, you would realize that the economic managers of 2017, 18, and 19 were clearly doing some thinking. That's why we got what we got. So, well, President Mahama is attacking... Uh, profligacy, the, the, the word that Professor Mills used to use. And we all must be concerned about that. If there's profligate spending by the people in authority, all of us must be concerned about that. It's part of the conversation that we must have, that we can't have expenditure going through the roof for the people in authority. Let's have a way, a legal regime, by which we can deal with that. Parliament has oversight responsibility. We can discuss that because that is important. But I beg to move. President Mahama, this go back to IMF, it doesn't work. It doesn't work at all. 2015's economic growth was brought up on the NDC by itself. 2017, 2018 showed that some people were thinking because they added more budgets to the national economy. They were paying out more money and the economy was still growing. It means they were thinking, yes, COVID came in. Post-COVID, there has to be a recovery because a lot of money was spent. Now, COVID is the first time where people were asked to stay at home. They were paid. They were asked not to pay electricity bill. They were asked not to pay water bill. Where do you think all that is coming from? But the president had hinted us already. He said that they know how to turn around an economy, but they do not know how to raise people from the dead. That's the point the president was making, that let us deal with the people so they don't die. If the economy goes around, we will pick it up again. That's what the president said. That's what that thing meant. It meant we're going to have an economic difficulty. But we promise you we can pick it up again because we know how to do that. That's what he meant. So in picking up again, they say e-levy. You don't like e-levy. It's okay. But 
you have to give us an alternative not to say, let's go to Abroche. So that's President Mahama. Uh, but we still have to thank President Mahama for at least writing out a solution. You know, they are bringing me tissue. They said that I'm sweating. So. <laughs> thank you very much, Jesus. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. So, President Mahama's solution, IMF, big no, cross, red cross. The whole of 2015, no sympathy, red cross, NDC brought upon himself. Remember, the people who took the economy over in 2018 did something, they added more, and yet the economy saw some growth before COVID. So that's important. It has to be an important part of the narrative. Very, very key. I'm done with President Mahama. So uh, thank you, Mr. President, for writing. This is our 2 persuas content analysis. Uh, I'm sure your people will look at it and, uh, and, and tell us what we need to know.